This is Deemable Tech's review of the Brookstone Rover Spy Tank. A little while ago, I got a hold of one and brought it to the studios at WJCT, and we played with it, and this is the video. And as you'll see in the video, I am a terrible tank driver. <laughs> it sort of sounds like you riding Splash Mountain. <laughs> The Brookstone Rover Spy Tank is controlled over Wi-Fi by any iOS device. For the video, to make it easier to see, we use an iPad, but it works the same on an iPhone or iPod Touch. See, so you can see here, it shows everything that the camera can see. Here's Tom and Sean and Sid. Say hi, guys. Say hi. Say hi. Target will never take it back now. <laughs> There's a baby seat. What are the baby seats doing there, Kenny? Okay? Can you drive it up on the baby seat? No. Aww. I'm chasing you! <laughs> I'm chasing you! Where is it? Go straight. Go straight. I'm telling you, you're in the bathroom. I'm not in the bathroom. There I am. <laughs> Rumble. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. The mixing board in studio three. You were like just trying to carry their conversation. I can't drive. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Do not drink and robot. <laughs> Put the pedal down. Let's see what this baby can really do. <laughs> That's it. That's as fast as it goes. So far, it's been pretty good. Uh, I put fresh, uh, take six AA batteries. Okay. Which I figured, since it being a Wi Fi device, it would be rechargeable. Yeah. But no, it's. I guess it's so big. <laughs> Oh! Yeah, I still can't drive. Okay, so here's a demonstration of the night capabilities. It's kind of dark in here. It's not pitch black. See, we got some light that Tom just turned out. But, uh, so here's over here. Now check out with the light. Now, you can see it's much brighter on the screen here. Now look at it in the room. It's still pitch black, but on the screen here, it's plenty light, and that's all infrared, so it doesn't actually brighten it in here. The problem is, as you can see on the camera, there's two LEDs on top of the device, so it doesn't really help it be, you know, a spy cam because you can see it coming towards you, even if you can't hear it. So we'll go here into the dark here. You can barely see it there in the in the camera shot on the in the dark here. But I'll show you on the camera here. I've got the light turned off, so you don't see anything. This is the shot that the the Brookstone Rover has right now. See there's nothing, 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 nothing. Now check this out. Hit the button, turn on the infrared. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Tom. 
No, show show him in the dark Sorry there. Yeah, you can see the lights on top of the rover, but <laughs> Tom's not even there. But here on the rover's camera, you can see him pretty well. He looks freaky, but he's there. And I can see here's him. us. <laughs> and there's Tom again. He's back. So you're in infrared right now? Yeah, this is infrared mode. Very cool. But you see, turn it off. You oh, can't. Nice. And show show the the rover there. Here's with the infrared on. Here's with it off. You can't even tell the difference. Yeah, that, that's the one. Is it just a little red light? It's a. It, you can barely see. There's a little bit of redness when it comes on. You can't see it in the camera, but in real life you can. See, there's adds a, quite a bit of, of illumination there. So that's the Brookstone Rover Spy Tank. Like I mentioned before, it's remote controlled via a free iPhone or iPad app over Wi-Fi. No Android, Blackberry, or Windows Phone app at this time. Like a real tank, it has one tread on each side that allows the tank to go forward, backward, left, right, or spin. On the front of the tank is a 320 by 240 video camera that shoots at 25 frames per second and a microphone that transmits to your iPhone or iPad. It also has infrared night vision that allows you to see in the dark. Unfortunately, it also has two fairly bright LEDs on top of the tank, and it's 20 decibels loud when it's running, so if you don't hear it coming in the dark, you'll definitely see it. It runs on six AA batteries, and the manual says it'll get about 2.5 hour battery life, and in my experience with it, it sounds about right. It ran for about two hours before it started acting sluggish. All in all, it's a fun little toy. I wouldn't have bought it at a penny shy of $150, which is what Brookstone offered it for at first, but right now you can pick one up regularly priced at $99.99. But for $150, you can now pick up the Rover 2.0, which has a lot more features, including remote control of the camera angle, two-way audio and video streaming, recording, and uploading to the internet. So the Rover 2.0 has a lot of cooler features than its older brother. Thanks for watching Dmobile Tech's review of the Brookstone Rover Spy Tank. And there we are. <laughs> All right, that's it.